what goes through your head at these moments where you kind of can't say you're sort of biting your tongue. You can't play like that and not score. We have to take responsibility for our final third actions. But equally their goal becomes to a lack of discipline and how we defend the edge of the box. And they break away and score. To be fair, they had another chance well before that, which they should have scored as well. So, from my point of view, you can't play and set up the way we did and not score. The first half is just is as perfect as you're going to get. Um, and large part of the second half with tremendous dominance in, in, in territory and, and we didn't manage to... It's been the story of our season. We've been bang average in the final third. That's, that's the result of that. And you don't score goals, you, you certainly don't win games of hooty. And what we have done over recent years, we've, we've made sure we score two and three and put ourselves out of sight. And yeah, we've, we've accepted conceding a goal, but we know we want to score. At this moment in time, it doesn't look the case. You said in the run-up to this game that you wanted the players to take responsibility, you wanted the mm. players and yourself to, to look in the mirror and take responsibility for what's mm. been a disappointing first half of the season. Do you feel like you saw a response from your players? In the last two games, yeah, Charlton today, I've certainly seen that. But fundamentally, the, the, the outcome is the results, and that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, I've seen a tremendous response from their energy and their desire. And, what I asked of them and our style was, was, was prominent in the first half and for a large part of the second. But I, I don't have a rule, I know when a rule to You can't keep doing what we're doing and, and fundamentally not scoring goals. How can you change that? But in January. Are you looking to bring in reinforcements in the transfer window? 100% is needed. I don't think it's too late either. Um, but we do. We, we can't keep carrying on the way we are, and um, unfortunately, it's it's it's, it's bitter in, in, in the last few games. And I, I feel that a, we've got to find more. And the players know that. I, I think they're honest. I, I think they're, they're good people. I think they know that they've. As much when, when people say, "Well, defenders, not just the goalkeeper, the back four, the whole team," and we're defending better as a team at this moment in time. But set plays, we don't look like we want to score. Then we scored one or two for all, all season from, and the setups are perfect. But for some unknown reason, people don't want to get hurt and get on the end of things and, and win their aerial duels. So when you see not scoring goals, it's not just open play, it's wide plays, midfield plays, getting the box, it's set plays, and we're just not doing it. Where does this leave you now, ahead of the game against the Premier League leaders Arsenal in the FA Cup? Are you confident that perhaps the team might put in a performance there and get something from that game? Listen, the team always works hard. Um, obviously, yeah. You're going up against one of the best team in, in, in the country at this moment in time. But from, from my point of view, this, that's not really something that's on my thought process at this moment in time. I've got a, a lot of thinking and dissecting of the game to do. Um, we've got a big few 24, 48 hours now with the window and making sure that we're aggressive in that and seeing if we can bring reinforcements in for that game. Um, and if not that game, the Fleetwood game the following week.